So heading into 2018, what are Americans' top concerns? According to this AP NORC poll, the top five are health care, taxes, immigration, the environment, and education. Just to note, this poll was conducted before tax reform was passed. The bottom five, the economy, racism, President Trump, unemployment, and terrorism is at the bottom. Here now is Dan Henninger from the Wall Street Journal. He's a Fox News contributor. And Noel Nickpour, a GOP fundraiser. Good to see you both. Uh, Dan, I would think, by the way, if the poll had been taken after the tax bill passed and was signed, uh, that tax reform would be up there. Not because people want higher taxes. They want their tax rates to go down. But it's a pretty confusing tax code, it turns out. It is pretty confusing, but, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, most people thought before the tax bill was passed is that uh, they were not going to get a tax cut, when in fact about 80 percent of the American people yes. are going to get a tax cut. So there was a lot of misinformation out there, David, and I looked through that Associated Press poll about people's concerns, and, you know, I've got a few concerns about that poll myself and polling in general these days. If you ask people if the country's going in the right direction, uh, you know, the numbers aren't that good. But Republicans, 8 by 80 percent, think it's going in the right direction. Democrats, 8 percent. Right, in other right. words, the partisan divide right. in this country is so huge now that I think yeah. it's skewing a lot of the uh, data that's coming out of these opinion polls about people's concerns. And, well, I think that's one reason why the opinion polls, no matter what they're, they're trying to judge opinion about, are wrong. I mean, they got it so wrong in 2016 for the elections. Yeah, that's I right. I agree 100 yeah, Go I agree 100 percent with I agree with what Dan said. I, I think that it, it is actually big business uh, to not work with the other side and to be, uh, you know, to, to be divided, so to speak. And I think a lot of people do not put a lot of faith in, in some of these pollings. Um, and you can go all the way back to the election when they thought Hillary Clinton had it in the bag and it, it right. overwhelmingly went to Trump. A lot right. of people are not putting and, and you can go back to numbers uh, looking at the CBO scores. I mean, yeah. you Numbers, numbers in the American public really are not jiving anymore like they used to. And when, when somebody hears a number, they, they are skeptical about it. The one so thing, I, the one thing that, I do uh, have to credit this poll with is that the sure. issues that are closest to people's day-to-day -day lives, like health care, taxes, mm -hmm. uh, education, et cetera, they, they polled at the top. And the ephemeral issues, like President Trump, go to the bottom five because racism, Trump, uh, I mean, th these are, are much harder to pin down to actions that happen in day-to-day -day life. So that part, Noel, I would think would be true. Well, yes, you're right. And this, you know, what happens in everyday, everyday life, that's, that's health care, health insurance, going to see a doctor, getting sick, that's taxes. And now we've got that figured out. But the thing is going to be this. A lot of Americans are in the dark because they don't know how the tax plan is really going to affect yeah. them. We're hearing all different kinds of stories. And you've got the Democrats doing the scare tactic um, as where on health care, on the flip side, when Obama was president, you had a lot of the Republicans doing the scare right. tactics, you know, on on Obamacare. So I think a lot of Americans, I think once they get the rhythm of something, they don't like change, but once they get the rhythm of something and they know what, how exactly the tax plan is going to benefit them, I think that they will be more inclined to think that America is moving in the right direction. Well, let's hope so. Meanwhile, we've got to move on to another topic, <laughs> another new poll revealing college-educated women prefer a Democratic-controlled Congress over a Republican Congress, 62 to 30 percent, according to Wall Street Journal NBC News poll. Uh, Noel, you know, with all of your, your qualms about polls, and I share a lot of them, frankly, uh, how do, does the Republican Party attract more women? There is one simple answer, in my opinion, as a national fundraiser that, that raises money on the GOP side. There is one answer to that, in, in my opinion, and that is to get more like-minded female candidates, get more women um, that uh, that women can identify with, uh, small business owners, women mm. that are leaders and even grassroots positions within the GOP party. You've got to get uh, a lot more women that can voice concerns uh, of what, why the women are, are going over to the Democratic side. So you've got to get uh, women that are delivering the message that appeal to other women. Dan, uh Let's get away from polls for a second, just talk about money, because that's yeah. one thing that is clear, is that the, the Republicans have, by a six-to-one advantage, a lot more money than the Democrats do right now. I, I'm just thinking that that has, says a lot 
about Democrats still distrustful of what seems to be a totally disorganized and ineffective party. Oh, there's no question about it, David. I think in the last month, November, the Democratic National Committee had its first uh, one-month fundraising month in about nine years. And uh, some of the Democrats out there saying, the big donors on the Democratic side are saying, we really see no reason why we should be giving to you. This is a big story, the problems the Democrats are having over on their side of the aisle. And I think it has a lot to do with the Democrats' manifest drift to the left. A lot of big donors are, I think, getting nervous about the progressives taking over the party and pushing it into a place where it's going to be very difficult for them to win elections.